You know, I loved how open and raw you were in this book because it's not just about business dealings. You talk about the emotions of being a CEO. And when one in particular, a highlight of your career was being in Shanghai, uh, opening Disney there, which was huge. And at the same time, you get a call about the Pulse nightclub shooting in Orlando. A couple days later, about you remember that young boy that was killed by a crocodile uh -huh. uh, in Disney World. I think we have a picture of you in Shanghai right after you took a call from the parents. Yeah. And take us yeah. back to that moment and just the mix of emotions. You're so happy about one thing, and on the other end, your heart's just breaking. Yeah, I feel I can feel it inside me just seeing that picture. I worked for 18 <laughs> years to uh, develop a Disneyland in Shanghai, the most populous city, the most con populous country in the world. Your dad, in fact, worked with your dad when he was the ambassador to China. Knew both your fathers, by the way. They raised great daughters, by the way. Aww, thank you. Thank you. Know that. Um, I didn't know your father. Let's hear it again. My, my father was thrilled you employ me, so. He was, a good, he, was a good, he was a good man. Anyway, I worked for 18 years to bring Walt Disney's vision of a theme park. It was built in the first one in uh, California in 1955 to Shanghai. It was a huge moment for, for Disney, for me, for even the, the country in many respects. I thought it would be actually the crowning moment in my career in terms of an achievement. And early in the week, there was a Pulse nightclub shooting, a terrible terrorist attack, really, on a nightclub that killed and, and hurt many people. And I was worried about that because of people that worked for us that were involved. As it turns out, we were also a target. And then a couple of days mm -hmm. later, an alligator uh, took a, the life of a two-and-a-half-year-old boy. Um, uh, terrible. Lane Graves was his name. Parents right there. And just a horrible, horrible uh, moment, obviously, for them. And here we were trying to celebrate something, and all I could think about was that incident and, those, and that family. And so I decided that morning to reach out. Actually, I called the parents, uh, was able to get them on a phone, and spoke with them. Um, and sp without any script, you can't possibly yeah. script that. Mm -hmm. But as a father and a grandfather, I couldn't fathom what they were experiencing. Wanted to assume responsibility or accept responsibility from a person instead of an unnamed corporate executive. And right before I was to go out and cut the ribbon in this what, joyous moment, that call took place. So that picture that you saw was me trying to compartmentalize, trying to shift from that very, very, very emotional moment to one where I had to put on a smiling face, speak a little Mandarin, cut a ribbon with, this, with um, uh, government officials from China, read a letter from President Obama, and watch fireworks and Mickey Mouse come out. Yeah. So it's a... Uh, I mean, it's, it's still something that I, I have a hard time fathoming in many respects. Life's like that, isn't it? It's, it is like that. It's you know, like through, that. Yes. You're up and down, yeah. and, but we persevere, as we will, because you're going to hang with us, and cool. we'll come back with more. Good. 